Theater 5 presents Fog. you'd have to get up, get up, get up, get up. But why? It's Saturday. Harry, Harry, he's coming to pick up Anne. All this fog. Let me get up. Help me. How many of those pills did you take? Oh. Mom, can I come in? Uh, what? Oh. oh, yes. Oh, oh, Anne, must you slam the door, darling? I'm sorry, Mommy. I've been waiting for Daddy. When will he get here? I don't know. He's taking me to the country. Now, don't get so excited or you'll bring on one of your headaches. I don't care. Well, I do. It's agony. I got a little one already. Oh, for heaven's sake, don't let it get worse. Oh, you'll have to take those tablets with you. You sleepy? Terribly. Tell Mrs. Raines I'd like some coffee. Why are you sleepy? Hand me my robe, please. Mommy, why are you so sleepy? Because I'm tired, Anne. I'm tired. Oh, why do you have to ask so many questions? Sorry? Now, will you ask Mrs. Raines for the coffee, please? Oh! I shouldn't have snapped at her. But why does she have to know everything about me? I've got a headache, too, and I don't care to discuss my life with a child. Oh, what's happening to this generation? The doctor said those headaches of hers were migraine. It's ridiculous, a child her age. Harry will be annoyed, too, if she has one today. Oh, my head feels as though it was stuffed with cotton. Why can't I wake up? Oh, good morning, Mrs. Raines. Good morning. I brought the coffee. I thought you might need it. Oh, yes. Is there anything else I could do to help? No, thank you. Very well. She is the most insinuating woman. Oh, oh, I, I've got to take something for this. I. Uh, where is that benzedrine? I had to, I had some here someplace. Oh, there. Uh, better take two. <sighs> oh, you look awful. What did those sleeping pills do to your eyes? Well, some eyes would help. Maybe there's some cubes in the bucket left from last night. Uh, d just a minute, that was last night. Well, of course it was last night. Well, who was here? Al Kimball. We talked about publicity for his book. What time did he go home? Oh, good grief, he did go home, didn't he? Anne, Anne! Yes, Mommy? Are you alone, dear? Mrs. Raines is here. All right, all right, it's nothing. You can never tell about Al. You see, what was I doing? Oh, 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 ice, ice. I think we left the bucket in the... Uh, oh, it's, it's over here. Well, that, that's enough. 
Look at your handshake. It's that Benzedrine. Well, who like this? A full glass of liquor. <laughs> well, after all, it isn't as though you were pouring a fresh one, and you've got to do something about your hands. Oh, but don't drink it here. Now, why do I have to hide things in my own house? If I need something to pull me out of this, it's my business, isn't it? There. Let them try to get in now. I wish I could get rid of that Mrs. Raines. But I've got to have somebody to take care of Anne. She's such an austere woman. She lies about me, too. I'm going to splash some water on my face. Oh, that's better. Now that, that pep-up pill. Well, have a drink. That'll help. Mommy? Um, yes? I've got a headache. Can I have a pill? Oh, just a minute. Just a uh, Better pour this drink in the sink. Uh, just a minute. Come in, dear. I'll find them. They're they're in a white box. Yes, yes, I know. Honey, why is this ice in the sink? Ice? Uh huh. Did you have a drink? Certainly not. Then what's it for? It's for complexion, Anne. Ice is very good for your skin. It tightens the tissues. Oh. Gee, Mommy, I hope I grow up to be as pretty as you. Mm, here, T take this. Right. And remind me to give you the box when you leave, hmm? Mommy? Hmm? Will you and Daddy ever get married again? No. Why? Questions. Questions. Over and over. Because, my dear child, we hate each other. No, it isn't that. It isn't hate. It's just nothing. So much of everything turns into nothing. Why? We had something in the beginning, I think. Didn't we? Donna? Oh, well, Harry, you startled me. Let's get away from here, shall we? Well, aren't you the naughty one? You'll never know standing here. Oh, I know, all right. Something happens whenever I'm near you. I don't understand it. Do you have to? I guess not. I just know you make me go limp. Mm, sounds promising. But it makes me feel like a fool. Well, let's just see how foolish you can be. Oh, Harry. Will you marry me? Well, now that's really foolish. No, no, it's elementary. Every stout-hearted man in that room wants you. And so do I, but not to share. I'm selfish. <laughs> I'm glad. Will you? Yes. Let's go now. All right. I wonder how late Al stayed last night. It's an awfully good book he's written. He's a talented man. I should have known that a long time ago. Oh, why did I throw that drink away? My head feels like a block of granite. Well, what are you going to do about it? Let a child and a housekeeper intimidate you. This is your house. If a drink is what you want, then get a drink openly. Don't pick up the dregs of last night. I know where I can get one, too. There's a bottle behind the towels in the linen closet. I put it there when Mrs. Raines wasn't looking. <laughs> Has she taken it away? Oh, no, here it is. Well, drink it here and put it back, quickly. Mommy! Don't come upstairs! What is it? Harry's here! Daddy's here! Hello, Harry. Button, how are you? Harry? Is that you? Hello, Donna. Got a kiss for me, beautiful? Always. She almost makes my day begin. Oh, Dad! <laughs> Listen to him. <laughs> but it's a beautiful day for the country. You know, Button, she hasn't changed in ten years. Mm, prettier. Gee, Daddy, if you both feel that way, why'd you get divorced? Go get your prescription, Anne. All right. Has she got another headache? Oh, it isn't bad. Well, how can that child have migraines? I don't know. The doctor says it might be emotional. But for heaven's sake, what problems could she have? I give her everything. I know, you're not bad with her. 
Well, anyway, just be sure she gets one of the tablets every two hours. Uh, you may have to give her more. The doctor said as many as three in an hour if she really needed them. I'm ready. All right, Button, we're off. Bye, Mommy. Bye, dear. through that with this anvil in my head. I wonder if you saw my hands. I kept them in the pockets of my robe. <sighs> if I could just get Mrs. Raines out of here, I could sit down to a civilized drink and collect myself. What do you mean, if? It's your house, isn't it? Uh, Mrs. Raines? Yes? Did you call? Uh, yes, uh, there's really nothing to do here with Anne gone today. Why don't you take the day off? Oh, uh, well, thank you. That would be nice. I'm going up to dress. Now, where's that bottle? Ah, here it is. Has she gone? Oh, thank heaven. Oh, that ought to do something. Her hands are still shaking. <clears throat> One more. If that doesn't work, you'd better take another phenol barb and go back to bed. Sleep it off. Going in circles, you know that. Wait. Somebody's coming this afternoon. Who? Oh, Al. He wanted to bring a friend. A girl who writes brilliant short stories. I know what kind of stories she writes. Well, I don't need them. I don't need him. I don't need anybody. <laughs> oh, Donna, come on, come on. Maybe you better have some coffee. And then, for heaven's sake, take a sleeping pill and wake up new again, will you? <laughs> Dr. Werner. She was supposed to have seen you this morning? Oh, for heaven's sake, it completely slipped my mind. <laughs> well, she was feeling so well, I sent her off for the weekend. Well, yes, she had a slight one, but uh, she's just a child. What could a psychiatrist do for her? For me? Dr. Werner, I'm a hard-working woman, and what I choose to do is my business. Goodbye. What is the matter with that man? I'm not his patient. And what an absurd thing to say. I wear those sleeping pills. With everything closing in, I've got to calm down. I've just got to. And I better take two. Yeah. Well, it's just as well you didn't get dressed. You can lie down and rest till five. And then... Have a martini. Oh, those drinks have given me a headache. Psychiatrist. I'm overworked, that's all. I'm nervous. By incompetent whether I drink or not. Besides, everybody in the office drinks. No, oh, maybe not in the morning, but I never did either until... Uh, weekends are the worst. I seem to lose control when I'm alone. Oh. oh, why don't those pills work? I'm not even drowsy. Maybe another drink would help. Oh, oh don't get up so suddenly. That, that hammering. I better take another pill instead. Where are they? Well, these aren't my... Oh, no. These are Anne's migraine tablets. She's got the sleeping pills. If she takes that many... Where did they go, did he say? I asked Anne. Oh, Donna, you fool, try to remember. Where did she say they were going? Oh, come on, get out of this fog. Where? 
Where did they go? Anne's diary. Maybe that'll say. It's in her room. Oh, where did they go? Where is it? Where is it? I've got a... Oh, here it is. Wednesday, Friday, Friday, Saturday. Mommy was up late last night. She didn't kiss me. I'm going with Daddy today. But where, Anne? Where? Where? I've got to go back and get a drink. I, I've got to think. I, I've got to remember. Here it is. One drink will be... The doctor. Call him. Find out about Anne. Find out about Anne. This phone here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Hello? Do Dr. Werner, this is Anne's mother. I, I'm sorry about hanging up, but I need some information. My little girl, she may have taken some sleeping pills. Oh, I don't know how many. Five, six, or seven, or what? What? Oh, no. No, could it? Could it? Could it? Thank you. Thank you. What time is it? Did, did, did I sleep? Is it still morning? <laughs> Come on, I've got to wake up. I've got to... Now, where did I leave that drink? <laughs> How could I misplace it? I left it right here. here. I, I need this to steady my, my nerves. Wait a minute. What if you black out? What will happen to Anne? What will happen to Anne? <laughs> you can't have another drink. Stop it, Donna. You revolt me. <laughs> That's the best thing you've done all day. Now, try to think clearly. In the first place, Harry would call if she'd taken any. He'd know something was wrong. But suppose he thought she was only sleepy, or that the headache was doing it. Would he give her more? Oh, yes, 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 he might. And she'd try not to show it. She loves Harry so she wouldn't want to miss the weekend. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh, please get off the phone, Al. I can't talk to you. I've got to keep the light open. No, I can't see her. I can't see anyone. Now, will you please get off this phone? Oh, dear heaven. Oh, dear. Mrs. Raines. Her number's right here. But call her. She might know where they went. I uh, Six. <laughs> Harry may have told her where they were going. Maybe Anne did. Oh, oh please, Anne, sir. Mrs. Rain. Please, Mrs. Rain. I need you. Please answer, Mrs. Rain. Oh. Police. Police. I, I, I've got to go to them. But what can they do? Oh, never mind. You need help. They could stop cars, broadcast a description, call other police. And... I... Oh, maybe that. Harry. Yes? Hospital? Hospital? Anne? Anne? Yeah. What about her? Oh, no! 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 Where is it? So far away. Miles. I can't reach it. I can't get to it. Why? Don't you remember? You put it on the dresser last night so you'd have to get up. Harry's coming for Anne. Come here, come here. Theater Five has presented Fog. Written by Richard McCracken and directed by Warren Somerville. 
In the cast, Vicki Bola, Evelyn Juster, Mary Michael, and Stan Watt. Audio engineer, Marty Folia. Sound technician, Ed Blaney. Script editor, Jack C. Wilson. Original music by Alexander Vlastatsenko. Orchestra under the direction of Glenn Osser. Executive producer for Theater 5, Edward A. Byron. We invite your comments. Write to Theater 5, New York 23, New York. This is Fred Foy speaking. This has been an ABC Radio Network production.